you're at home, you'll soon have another reason to visit Belle Isle. We are hearing about plans from a world-renowned artist who's bringing his talents right here to Detroit. Nick Monticelli tells us about a garden designer who will be adding to the natural beauty of the Detroit landmark. Hey everybody, so the best thing I can do as a journalist is be open and honest with you. So let me be honest by saying, I don't know what I'm talking about here. I'm not a gardener, I'm not a green thumb. I really can't understand how all of this is gonna be transformed into a beautiful green space, but they gave me colorful pictures. So I think this is what it's going to look like. The artist took some Sharpies and had a basic idea of what this could be, but this doesn't do it justice. This though, this could help a little bit. Here's the bell tower here on Bell Isle, and this is what this space is going to be turned into. Beautiful paved walkways, places to sit and think and relax and enjoy the nature. In its heyday, Bell Isle was the place to be, and slowly it's bouncing back after years of neglect, including what was discussed today. Pete Oldoff is a world-renowned garden designer, and his latest project will surround this bell tower on the northern edge of the island. It feels like a meadow, but then with plants, perennials, and grasses. So it's not too tall, not too low. Odoff is a native of Denmark and travels the world designing and installing, like Lurie Garden in Chicago or the High Line in New York City. He's a rock star, for goodness sake. Yes, of course he is, but I'll bet many folks that are listening have experienced his work. The design here in Detroit is one and a half acres of tranquility. Contemplate, relax, be with your children, be with your parents, be on your, you know, there's so much happening. There's a lot of wildlife, so insects, butterflies, birds. Odolf is nearly done with the designs. Next is to continue the fundraising with money to install this and maintain it for years to come. That will cost between three and four million dollars. But the price tag does not mean this is a playground for the wealthy. We need to connect with the neighborhoods. We need to connect with all the traders and make sure they know this is their garden. So what is the best guess on when all of this can be done? They are saying they want it to have it done by 2019, but definitely by 2020. I'm Belle Isle, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Something to really look forward to. Thank you, Nick. The Odolph Detroit Garden will be maintained by volunteers and the funds raised during this process. Now they're still looking for donors, though. So if you would like to help, we did post some information on our website. Click on Detroit.com. You'll find it right on the community page.